Welcome back, Kiss Army, to another episode of We Are One. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Here I am, and here you are. Welcome to the Psycho Circus, and welcome to the show for another episode of We Are One, where in today's video, we are going to be talking about the kickoff of the last leg of the Kiss and of the Road Tour. So, as you guys may have seen in my Amber Wild review video where Paul's son's band opened for the last leg of this tour, I did a review of the opening act, which is Paul's band, Paul's son's band, Amber Wild. You can go check that video out on the channel. But what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be giving you my review of the first show of the last leg. So this show took place in Cincinnati, Ohio. It was over. It was a, almost a show that so. It was over 17,000 people there, so we can go ahead with that right there. That kiss still drew them in. There was a big line of fans outside the venue. The merch booths were full as normal, and everybody really seemed to have a good time. So here is what I want to preface this with. I am a fan of all eras of the band. So if you don't like Tommy and Eric, this is not for you. If you don't want to hear about four guys having fun, this is not for you. This is for the KISS fan who appreciates all eras of the band. This is for the KISS fan who wants to see them one last time. I am telling you to do so. I don't care what side of the debate you're on, whether Paul uses tracks or not, whether Gene uses tracks or not, whether they use a metronome for the entire show. I really don't care where you stand on any of that, and I don't care about any of that. I care about the fact that I got the opportunity to see this band another time. I have not been around for the entire duration of KISS. The first live KISS album, or the new KISS album I was able to live for, was Psycho Circus. So for the fact that I am actually able to see KISS in 2023 was good enough for me to go and see them in person another time. And what I saw on that stage was four guys who genuinely had a blast. You could tell Paul was having a great time. He was smiling in between every song on stage during just playing, having a great time with the crowd. So whether or not you think he's lip syncing or singing to tracks or is using tracks to help him get through the show, I really don't care. The point is Paul was having a great time and he was giving the audience a great performance. So Gene also was clearly having a great time and in classic gene fashion at the show he kind of flubbed up the lyrics on cold gin and on a war machine singing the same verse a couple of times and he also did it on i love it loud so you can tell right there unless gene's using tracks and purposely messing up verses and lyrics he's not using tracks gene sounded great even though the songs are all tuned down a full step at this point it just gives them much heavier sound and a better grit and it was Really great to see. The stage show was amazing. Tommy was also having a great time, especially the fact that while he was shooting rockets out of the guitar, the crowd was really digging it. And you could tell Tommy was having a great time on this opening show of the last leg of the tour because you actually heard him walk over to the microphone and go, woo, which Tommy typically doesn't do. He was smiling left to right. He was having a great time. Eric Singer also having a terrific time, giving a lot more smiles in a show than I'm used to seeing from him. And the whole band was just having a great time. So I really don't care if you think that this is a fake kiss, if you think that this isn't worth paying your money for. Here's a simple thing. Don't do it. But if you do want to go see Kiss one last time in person, go ahead and go. It was a great show. It was very entertaining. I got to take my wife to the show, and I got to go experience another Kiss show with my dad, who has been around for the full duration of the band. And that is worth more than whether or not Paul is singing to tracks, whether Gene is singing to tracks, whether the whole show's a metronome. I really don't care. I just got to experience this and have this great memory added to my history, my personal history. So the show was great. Paul's son's band was great. The atmosphere was great. And the whole set list was great. They got all the classics in there and they gave us a great little Easter egg with making love thrown in there. So that was awesome to see. The last time I saw Kiss, 
they had thrown Flaming Youth in there, so that was cool to see, getting that one Die Hard track in there. So I thoroughly enjoyed the show. I have no regrets about not, you know, going. It was so worth it, and I hope that everybody who appreciates all airs of the band is able to make it out and go see Kiss on this last leg of the tour. So that wraps things up for me here in this video. Thank you guys for watching. You can leave a comment if you want to or don't. I don't really care. At this point, I'm just so glad I got to see this final leg of the End of the Road Tour and celebrate what is history and all of the memories that Kiss has given to me with my wife and my dad. So it was very great to see. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, God gave rock and roll to you and God bless you.